Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. The songs that birds are singing have just gone crazy now that the weather is warming and the day length is getting longer and you can't help but notice it. When you go out in the mornings and to fill your bird feeders, the backyards and everywhere are alive with bird songs. So uh, we get a lot of questions about that, believe it or not. They, you know, people want uh, we want to know, you know, who is singing? You know, what are they really saying? And and uh, so I thought I would address that day in a in a who, what, when, and where of bird songs. So first off, who is singing? In the bird world, it is almost all the males. There, there, there are a few females. Cardinals are a good example. The female will chime in with the male and do a duet, but for the most part. In the bird world, it is the males who do all the singing. And let's clarify that because when we're talking about singing, we're talking about songs. Now, we're not talking about little chips and uh, little scold calls that they make and assembly calls to get the family together. Um, there's, there's different vocalizations, calls like that, um, uh, that, that all birds will do. But when we're talking about song, we're talking about singing, we're talking about the beautiful songs that you hear, it is the males who do that. Uh, and so it, what are they saying? The who, now the what? What are they saying? Well, there's two main messages that that male is trying to get across. One is, hey, ladies, you know, my friend Brian says, yo, baby, yo, baby, yo, baby. And he's like, and that is he's trying to attract a mate. He's singing um, to, to catch the attention of a female and hopefully and entice her to, to mate with him. Uh, and so that's a, one of the main purposes, basically now. But the other is the message to all the other male birds uh, in the area, all the male cardinals and, and male robins, these birds are singing. And that is, this is my territory, stay away. If you come into my territory, there's going to be a fight. So uh, they are. They, these are the two messages that they are uh, trying to get across to the, the females and to the other birds. Now, when do they sing? Well, as you, the mornings will tell you that they mainly sing in the morning, but birds will sing all day long. Uh, it's just that song is really strong in the mornings and strong at the, in the evenings. Um, but they, so because they've got to get that message out when they first get up, they got to start uh, match, match, matching your territory, you know, mar marking your territory. That's the word I'm looking for uh, around. And if you watch closely, if you're, you know, you're, you want to watch the birds in your yard, watch a cart, pick out a cardinal, especially this time of year, and watch him, he will sing, you know, this corner of the yard, and then he'll fly away, and he'll sing over here, and he'll fly, and then sing over here, and he'll fly and sing over there. And so he's going to the, uh, the, around the perimeter of his territory, and he's singing, and that is to establish the boundaries. Um, I remember years ago, my, my friend, uh, was painting his parents' house for him, and I was talking to him. Uh, this was in North Carolina, and I just so happened to be watching. He had a, a backyard catbird and a front yard catbird, and they would be singing, and there was a bush on the side of the house where I could see that had to be the edge of each one of them's territory because one of them would be singing from the top of that bush. And as soon as he flew back in the backyard and would sing again, the other one with the front yard would come and land on that same bush and he would sing. And they would come, they were trading places. So they had a, they, their territories were separated by the house. And that's a, a really good example of, you know, how they're, they, they, the boundaries of their territories and they're letting the other birds know what's going on. So who, I got who, what, when, where, around the edges of territory. How about how? How do birds sing? Well, they don't have a larynx like we do, mammals do. And larynxes are, are, are at the top of our esophagus area and so and the trachea. So, and the, But the birds have what's known as a syrinx, and it's at the lower part of the, that area, and it is a real bony structure. And they, they control it by pushing muscles against it, constricting it and raising it, and they push air across it, and that's how they make sound. That's where the bird's song comes from, is air being pushed across the syrinx is the name of it. So uh, it's pretty cool. You know, they, uh, it, some birds are highly musical, some birds are not. And that's we you know we talk about songbirds and usually like the birds of praise and owls and things like that are not not very musical where where most of the smaller songbirds you know, are musical so 
bird song is a fascinating subject and there is a great way to learn birds and if you can learn to identify some basic songs uh, it, it really helps you whenever you're bird watching so it's one of the best things you can do to become a better birder is to learn their songs and even their calls and their call notes and stuff like that so it's a great topic thanks for the idea for the program give us a like give us a share please send in ideas for more programs because we really want to talk about what you, you want us to talk about if you're on youtube please subscribe but until then come on let's talk birds